Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to set up the infinitely repeated prisoner's dilemma. Last time we looked at a prisoner's dilemma being repeated a number of times, and we saw that players could not cooperate in any finite version of that game. The reason was that players could look forward into the future and see that defection at the end of the game was inevitable. This prevented players from using cooperation contingent strategies such as, I will cooperate as long as you cooperate, and then through backward induction we discovered that the equilibrium is for each player to defect in every period, which ultimately left us with this outcome. Now we will play the game an infinite number of times, so we'll just keep playing this game over and over and over and over again without end. But when we do this, we immediately run into a problem. Our interest is whether the, future, the threat of future defection can sustain cooperation now. But how do we calculate these payoffs? I'll start with a simple example. What is the payoff for mutual defection in infinitely many periods? Well, the payoff for mutual defection in one period is just one, and we're going to do that infinitely many times, so we get one times infinity, which equals infinity. Now, how about the payoff for mutual cooperation for infinitely many periods? Well, the payoff for mutual cooperation in one period is three, so we're going to multiply that by infinity, and that also equals infinity. So these are the same mathematical payoffs, but that isn't very sensible. After all, mutual cooperation is supposed to be inherently better than mutual defection. It says so right here. But the problem is that any positive number multiplied by infinity nets infinity, which means we can't use these payoffs uh, in this manner for this infinite game. The reason is that all these payoffs look like, look like they're just as good as every other one, but that violates our preferences over the game, over the outcomes of the game. Fortunately, however, there's another big problem. And in this case, the two wrongs will make a right. If we're playing the prisoner's dilemma over a really long time, then I should prefer some amount of utility now than that same amount of utility later. Think of the payoffs as money. Five dollars from betraying your cooperation and defecting should be worth more to me now than later. The idea is that I can invest and enjoy that money now, while I can't invest or enjoy a payoff that I won't get for another, say, ten years. And there's also the issue that we might stop playing the game before ten years passes. Uh, perhaps because the Earth has been destroyed by a meteor or some other catastrophic event has happened. Either way, I might not care about sabotaging future cooperation if I can make a one-time deviation to defect and earn my larger payoff of five right away, even if it means that uh, you will defect on me for the rest of time. Maybe I just think that it's really likely that a meteor is going to crash into the Earth and so we're not going to be playing this game for much longer. And the way we account for the time value of utility and the infinite payoff problem is by introducing a discount factor, which is a lowercase delta, what you see on your screen, such that this discount factor is some value between 0 and 1. This allows us to use geometric series to solve the game. We will next review how geometric series function before applying them as payoffs uh, to an infinitely repeated prisoner's dilemma, at which point we will finally be able to solve that game.